Have you ever met him? Oh yeah, yeah, a bunch of times. Really? Back in them days, back it's been years since I seen him, but back in them days, once I got up on him like that, man, I was like a groupie. Every time he came to town, I was like that. You know. See, are you by chance in contact with him? Like that he maybe Not really. been for the documentary or nah, it may have been so many years. I ain't seen Kara's one. Just he been out here a bunch of times. But like I say, just in my own, doing my own thing, I ain't just, I ain't in it like I used to be with him. Yeah. Into him. But back in them days, man, like the 90s, KRS-1 could sneak in town without me being there. <laughs> and um, I mean, then, you know, when I met him, he was just cool. I mean, he was cool. Me, um, me, DBX, and C-Rock, um, we went, they had, it was a concert, one of the big concerts, yeah, back when uh, Lakewood was the summit. And they had, Kumo D, Eric B and Rakim was headlined, Paris one Ice T, Biz Marquee. That was a lineup. So you know that's a big show back in them days. This might have been in like '88, somewhere off in there. So um, C Rock was like, yeah man, um, uh, I find, I know what hotel they gonna be at. They stand at that Holiday Inn. It's the further down. It ain't even Holiday Inn now, but it's the further down from the Summit. I said, man, you know they said, yeah, that's the best place in there. We said, we're going to go up there and hang out see if we can meet them. We went up there, sat up in the lobby for the long, we sitting there about an hour, and then slowly but surely, these cats started walking in, Biz Marquee walked in, you know, Ice T walked in, all them cats, Duddy Freddy walked in, and the majority of them were just, just acting funny, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't even speak to them, like, yeah, what's up? You know, keep on walking, you know what I'm saying? Just acting like two flies. So I'm like, man, they might have come in with Karen one. So, man, we might have been sitting there about an hour and a half, close to two hours, and boom, Karen one walking in the fire shit. I thought I was like in a movie. I couldn't be, I'm like, I, I, literally, literally, I'm 18 years old. Literally, I'm like, like, I can't, he about to hear that door. I'm like, I couldn't even believe it. I was like, it's like he wasn't even a real person. So, uh, we joking around, we're like, man, go say something. I'm like, nah, you gonna say something. Too. You know, because everybody else walking with no distance. You know, so we like, man, I ain't gonna say nothing to him. So I say, forget it. You know, I'm walking to him. I'm walking up to him like he got a pistol in his hand. I'm like, well, man, how you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm literally walking up to him like this, like like he gonna slap me if I get too close. Yeah. So um, he was like, hey, what's up, man? You know, just cool as a fan, man. Just, you know, cool. So that messed me up right there. I said, man, you know, this dude is real cool. I said, so I'm, I'm my mind thing, I say, if I ever get to that point, that's how I'm gonna be, you know, with my family. I ain't gonna never yeah. look down and treat people like, cause that could've went a whole nother direction. You know, if I meet this dude, I'm idolizing this dude, and then he act funny with me, that's it, you know? Yeah. I, don't, I ain't fooling with him no more, but I mean, he was, I mean, super cool, gave us tickets to the show, we broke. He said, y'all going to the show? We like, nah, we ain't going. He like, psh, sell us tickets to the show, we like in the seven, eight row. You know, I mean, it's cool as a fan. I mean, this, I mean, we we show this with love. I mean, uh, one of his partners was like, y'all know we can get some weed? We, psh, come on. We took him to the hood, got him some weed, took him, took him back to the hotel. I mean, it was love. And every time he came down, you know, I was there to where he used to remember me. He would see me, you know. When he come out, I ain't have his number or nothing, but when he come on the stage, He'll look out in the crowd, he see me over there, he reach over me some doubt and do it for you know, him. Cool. I got in trouble one night for going to see Kara one because uh he came and did a show out here on on, on um on a school night. I was in twelfth grade and my mom was like, You ain't gonna go to no club. And especially on a weeknight. I was like, man, I, I lied, I said, man, it's gonna be over by ten. I knew it was gonna be over at ten. And she let me go, man, I got to about two thirty in the morning. And boy, she went off. She went, <laughs> went off. And then my other partners, they stayed and hung around with Karis One, BBX, my partner Kevin Lyman and all them. They went to his hotel room. C Rock all them went to the hotel room. They ain't got smoking with him. I ain't never smoked, but I just would have been the one to hang around. They hanging out with him and smoking with him. My mama just got through just going off on me. I'm chilling. I'm like, damn, that's why I ain't mad. I don't even care. 2.30 in the morning, about too far the phone rung in the house. My mom go answer that phone, boy, she come in that room, and she just going out, but she hand me the phone. I get on the phone, I say, yeah, who is here? 
it was C-Rock, he at the hotel. No, DBX, he at the hotel. He said, man, he said, you know, he said, he said, I begged your mama to let me talk to you. I said, what, what's going on? He said, man, we in Carrier's hotel room right now. He said, I'm gonna put you on the phone with <laughs> He put me on the phone with Carrier's one. We talked for about six, seven, eight minutes. And man, we got off the phone. I told DBX the next day, I said, dog, my mama was mad at him. I said, but I don't even care, dog. Because I, I was just glad, you know, I said, I'll take whatever she was going to do. Just to be able to, you know, chop it up and carry it. I'm like, yeah, that's my boss. To this day.